And a special thanks and shout out to Community Kia Mitsubishi of Bloomington, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film this 2018 Kia Stinger Premium All-Wheel Drive. Hello everyone, today we're going to take an in-depth walk around look at this brand new 2018 Kia Stinger Premium. And this Stinger is painted in micro blue metallic and features the black leather interior. And Stingers are standard with rear wheel drive. However, this model has had the optional all wheel drive system with dynamic torque vectoring control that works in conjunction with electronic stability control and vehicle stability management. You've also got different selectable drive modes. And power comes from the 2 liter dual overhead cam, 16 valve, gas direct injection, twin scroll turbocharged inline 4 cylinder engine. It creates 255 horsepower at 6,200 RPM. 260 pound feet of torque at 1,400 RPM. It is good for 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds, with a 0 to 100 mile per hour time in 16.2 seconds. Quarter miles cleared at 14.7 seconds at 95 miles per hour with a top speed of electronically limited to 132 miles per hour. And the sole available transmission is an 8 speed electronically controlled automatic gearbox. It does feature manual shift capabilities via the paddles mounted to the steering wheel. And around the rear, the car shows its lift back design similar, similar to that of the Audi A7. Large triangular LED taillights with the honeycomb textured LED turn indicators are prominently mounted with the deck lip hanging over that serves as an aerodynamic spoiler. Below, gloss black balance panels neatly frame the chrome finish quad exhaust tips. Kia's chief designer Gregory Julian says the new Kia Stinger is a true Gran Turismo car 
for long, for spirited long distances. It's not about outright power, hard edge dynamics, and brutal styling, all at the expense of luxury, comfort, and grace. The Stinger has nothing to do with being the first to arrive at the destination. This cart is all about the journey. And wheels on this particular Stinger are the 18-inch machine-finished alloy wheels. Tires are Bridgestone Potenza, and they measure 225-45-R18. And around the front, this vehicle is equipped with adaptive cruise control with stop-go features and lane departure warning with lane keep assist. Forward collision warning and blind spot monitoring with cross-traffic alert are also included. Front end styling is aggressive with Kia's distinctive tiger nose grille, large lower air intakes, and dark chrome accents. The sloping hood features gloss black accented faux vents. And headlamp styling is bold with LED projector headlamps, LED daytime running lights, and the iconic multifaceted crystal style LED turn indicators. Lower fog lamps are also LED. Alright, this vehicle is equipped with Smart Key Access System. By keeping the detonator style key fob in your purse or pocket, you're able to electronically lock and unlock the vehicle. To lock the vehicle, simply locate the button on the door handle, press it. The horn will chirp and the mirrors will fold in, indicating the vehicle is locked. To unlock, simply press it again. Alright, as you can see, nice attention to detail on the interior. Soft padded materials with accent stitching, gloss black piano trim, and satin silver accents all complete the interior package. This vehicle does feature two driver memory. It also features the 15 speaker Harman Kardon Quantum Logic Clarify surround sound system. It does feature power heated power fold away mirrors. And the side view mirrors also house the side indicators. And of course you also have power windows and power door locks. Eight-way power driver seat with four-way adjustable lumbar support. Nice supportive high back bucket seats with adjustable head restraints. And you've also got perforated leather inserts. Various controls on the dash for your blind spot monitors and cross path detection. Electronic tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Alright, let's pan through the interior and show a little more details. As you can see here, nice fluid power assisted steering. Steering wheel does feature gloss black piano trim. You've also got various audio controls, telephone controls, and voice controls, as well as your cruise controls, all mounted to the steering wheel. Satin silver shift paddles mounted to the back of the steering wheel. Nice, large, and clear, easy to read instrumentation. Top of the dash has a stitched textured feel to it. You've got the floating infotainment center screen. Touch response is pretty good. It also has haptic feedback. It also accepts pinch to zoom features and swiping. Three circular air vents. Placing the vehicle in reverse does activate the parking view, parking backup camera. 
this feature active guidance lines. We've got controls for audio and climate control down below. It is a dual zone automatic climate control. Various multimedia inputs here. You have 12 volt power point, auxiliary input jack. You've also got two USB ports. T shaped shift handle. You've got your driver control system uh, control wheel, as well as your stability control and electronic parking brake, heated seat controls, you've also got a heated steering wheel, and the button to deactivate your parking sensors. Two front cup holders, and a nice amount of storage on the center armrest. Alright, overhead, on the automatic dimming rear view mirror, you do have 3 channel Home League Universal Garage Door Opener. And above that, you do have Sunglasses Holder. Overhead LED Illumination. As well as your overhead lighting. Power Sunroof Controls. Vanity Mirror Illumination. And Sliding Visors. And you've also got dampened overhead assist handles. All right, now let's take a look at the rear seat. Very nice attention to detail, same as the front seat. Gloss black pinot trim, stitched textures, as well as satin silver aluminum. And the rear seat does seat three across. It is a 60-40 split folding seat and does feature high adjustable head restraints on all passenger seating areas. And the center portion does fold down to reveal an armrest and integrated cup holders. Rear passengers do have the same twin circular air vents as the front seat passengers do. You do have temperature controls, as well as a couple power points, 12 volt power point, and a USB port. And the seat backs do have integrated map pockets. Folding the seat is easy, just locating the lever at the top of the seat and pulling the seat back forward. The seat backs do fold nice and flat.
right, let's take a look at the luggage area of the Kia Stinger. This one just has a manually opening rear lift back. It doesn't have the power assisted lift back. But the luggage area is very nice and very spacious with LED illumination on both sides. A nice flat load floor with minimal wheelhouse intrusion. Underneath you do have your compact spare tire and you also have jack and tools and compartmentalized storage as well. Lifting this little cover here reveals the tire. Overall storage in the back of the Kia Stinger is 23.3 cubic feet. When you have the rear seats folded, luggage capacity increases to 40.9 cubic feet. Alright, and this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at the brand new 2018 Kia Stinger Premium All-Wheel Drive. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.